GoPro video. Okay guys, we're out here. We're actually doing some gear testing today. Uh, me and Dog are gonna go on a little bit of a hike and uh, today we're gonna be testing out this VanQuest gear uh, here. So this is the uh, Racket 36 bag and this is their Ibex uh, pack that they've got here. Dog, why don't you crack that thing open and show uh, people what you got in there so they can see kind of like the load that we're gonna be toting around today. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I've got my Cry Precision JPC in here with my gear in it. Cool. So you fill the main compartment with your kit. Right. Cool. Fits it all in here, so. And then you're also CCW today. That's correct. Cool. And then over here at the Racket 36, got. What do we have here? A Destructive Devices Industries uh, AK-47. RS regulate mounts with a with a Hilux Micromax B dot on it. Midwest Industries single point sling attachment with uh, our always trusty Savvy Sniper slings, uh, and she's loaded. So, uh, but not cheap. wouldn't wouldn't have it any other way. And then of course an, an RS regulate for my TLR VIR. So uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see that uh, actually. An AK with a slant brake fits in this thing just right. Uh, any extended brake for your AK is going to be a little bit long, uh, and, it, and it will stick out the top. And then in the front compartment here, I basically just have an assortment of partially loaded magazines here, a domino, and then a full Everyone pouch, needs a domino. Full pouch of magazines there, so there should be some shifting and plan there. Uh, also on this thing, I've got uh, the the ATAC uh, for the uh, cat tourniquet. This is actually by a, uh, made by a contractor uh, who's currently in theater. Uh, he's sent up sent us a bunch of these for for uh, testing and evaluation purposes. But it's basically a cat tourniquet holder that is quick to attach uh, and it quickly deploys this thing ready to use. So it holds it in a configuration that's ready to use. Uh, but that's uh, pretty much our layout for today. Uh, and uh, you know, we're just gonna, basically what we're gonna be doing today is just humping it through the woods. We're gonna, uh, basically you can see that it's raining like pretty decently out here. Uh, we're gonna go on a rainy hike and beat up this gear. This, this part of the path is nice and clear. We went through with a dozer uh, a few years ago. Just kind of pushed a decent path through here. The Razor will make it through, but that's about the only vehicle that we have that'll go through. However, that is a new development. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It's wild, man. That is insane. Keep going. Yep. That didn't take long, did it? It did not. Wow. So it, it looks like it peeled the entire. It did. Yeah. Exactly what it did. That's that's insane. Yeah. Tree went that way and just picked everything up. Huh. That's crazy. It is pretty wild. And the water from the creek eroded up underneath to the point where it pulled the roots. Wow. Huh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Jurassic World now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you seen it yet? Yes, I have. Yeah, I did. It's like an awesome movie, isn't it? Yeah, I, I liked it. I did too. I think it's a good one. Yeah, the only, the only thing I had... Straight through? Um, there's a fence there. Let's go around for, for now until we hit the... This way? Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, the only problem I had with Jurassic World was the guns were completely wrong. Dude, really? The entire movie, there's these guys with these automatic weapons, a freaking minigun, and all this garbage. And the end of them, and, and it apparently didn't do any any good to any of the dinosaurs. So this, the, the Chris Pratt character, grabs his freaking 45 70 lever action. Fires the semi-automatically, by the and, way. And he thinks he's doing something. Well, that was really one of the only guns I thought that might be okay. Right. Uh, 4570 is pretty heavy. It was for, firing semi-automatic, and that was just... 
Yeah, but I mean, as far as like caliber choice, I suppose yeah. that one was okay. I mean, 4570 is pretty heavy, but not like, I mean, you might've been okay against like a Velociraptor. Oh, there's but, something else too. In a close up of his sling, where it had the bullets uh -huh. on the, his sling, did you notice there were two different calibers of bullets? No, I didn't notice that. Oh. No, I didn't notice. Uh, now, but the but the dudes carrying the Utahs shotguns and the UMPs, come on guys. You're supposed to be some kind of paramilitary organization that's designed to, that is, his sole existence is to uh, provide safeguards for the island and uh, you don't have your shit squared away enough to have the right caliber guns. They should have been carrying... Instead of AR-10s or something. Don't fall. Well, I mean, AR-10s or, you know... Baywolf. Or Beowulf, yeah, Beowulf probably would have been all right. Or something. But you know, they should have had like chopped down 50 cows with EOTEX on them or something, you know? Yeah, but that doesn't add them drama. No, it doesn't at all. If, hey, if they would have had that, they would have freaking whacked that super dino in the very beginning of the movie, and they'd be like, oh, look, price over. And the, the well, the minigun wasn't the right uh, caliber either. It was the, it was, oh shit. Uh, it was chambered in 7.62 NATO. Well, they should have had that freaking three barrel 50 caliber that one. No, nah, man, they should have had the 20. 20 millimeter? Yeah, the 20 mil. That would have fucked that shit up big yeah, time. That would have ended Dino there. Yep. Good Same point. thing with the guy with the AT4. Uh, keep going your way, yeah. Is it running? I think it's, it's blinking. Yeah, I think it's. Okay. Yeah, That's cool. So All right. Put, it through my, put my bag up in front of me and just walk through it? Yeah, walk through it. I'll do the same. Unclip mine. This is a good day for this. It is. And stuff. It is. Good test of gear. All right. Grab these carry handles. Just use it as a shield. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> stuck on this. Is it? Nice. Okay, well there there's some data. I thought that was gonna be kind of silly, but uh it's actually kind of legit. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing, see if I get hung up. Yep, yep, same stuff. Hung up on the uh on the elastic cord there. Fix this right now. Issue resolved. Yep. All right, so we're we've come to the An it, impasse. It looks as though the uh, the culvert has actually washed out. You first or me? I'll go first. Okay. Right at the edge of it, it's really soft. Be careful. Hang on a second. I want to uh, make sure I get a really good shot of this. You're gonna put it on fail army, aren't you? Oh, uh, if you fall in, yes, oh, I will. Damn it! I don't, don't want to fall in. Ready? The rain just kicked up. Yeah, that was real courageous. Alright. Here goes nothing. Watch the fat fat man stomp. Let's go, man. Oh, oh, look at that. That was easy. Like a champ. That was easy. It just looked bigger from the other side. <laughs>
All right, guys, as you can see, we made it out here to the range uh, via the overland route, <laughs> and we're completely soaked. Nice wolf shirt, by the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, completely soaked all the way down to the bone. Uh, what we're gonna do now is kind of take a once over on the gear, just kind of see what it looks like uh, now that it's been kind of drudged through the woods. And also, you know, this stuff isn't ready to be waterproof, but I kind of want to check out and see how wet the gear is after it's, it's been, been. It's been on and off raining all day. This is yeah. the first time it's been dry. Yeah, we actually did get some cover or from the rain, so it's cool. Well, dog, why don't you crack that ibex open and see what we got? Most of my gear, especially on the inside pockets, there's a piece of paper that's dry. Nice. Uh, once again, they're not rated to be wa no, waterproof. They're, they're not rated to be waterproof. There is a little bit of wet, but I mean, it's for the most part everything on the inside. Yeah, like throw that thing up on there so they can see the gear again. Like my JPC itself, I think for the most part everything is still dry in here. Oh, by the way, I got this JPC from. Lucas uh, Botkin from T-Rex Arms Kydex. I got a good holster from him too, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, that's what you're carrying today, right? I am. It's called a uh, sidecar holster. Freaking awesome holster. Yeah. yeah, dude, this stuff is bone dry. Yeah, there's nothing. Bone dry. I no dig it, man. No whatsoever. That's awesome. So, that sidecar holster, you've been carrying that all day. I have. Uh, I've been carrying it all day. Freaking awesome. And it's got, they call it sidecar because it's got uh, uh, yeah. an extra bag attached yeah, to it. Very, very accessible. Well, here, take this before you zip that zip that up and we'll take a look at uh, over here. And uh, so I used this really hard today, I will say. We did lose uh, the cat tourniquet. We had to recover it, but we were doing some really heavy use with it, so that was kind of expected. Uh, but as you can see, got some serious wear going on here. Uh, but, you know, I mean, no, no torn stitching or anything, which you, is you got some thorns in here, yeah. but they didn't they didn't tear the fabric up at all. So let's go in here, and it's dry in here. That's the front compartment. Get my water out. Um, we did. You guys remember seeing we did cut this on purpose. Um, I'm not a fan of this, and I think VanQuest is going to get rid of this. Uh, let's go to the main compartment here and see how. The AK is doing, and it appears to be perfectly fine, perfectly dry as well. That's pretty badass. And it's a nice looking AK, by the way. It is uh, a pretty decent AK. We're gonna review coming soon. Review coming soon. We, we're gonna get it, guys. We have a policy. Uh, whenever we bring a gun in like this, we do a. We probably put a couple hundred rounds through it before we even speak a word on it. So we're all pretty good with it before we even say a, 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 a word on it. So we kind of get an idea of what the nuances are like of the particular gun before you guys hear anything about it. We're not one of those groups that gets a gun in and does a nice shiny gear review on it right when it's new. That just doesn't happen. So uh, anyway, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and settle back up, change your battery, and hit the road.